Coming up on High School Quiz Show, it's the Season 12 Championship Match with Belmont High School. Taking on Boston Latin School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. You always want your kids to be safe. Now you can show them the Drive with Safety app from Safety Insurance, designed to help us all drive better. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Additional funding is provided by the Museum of Science. The Museum of Science. Trekking around the Arctic has never been easier. You can get lost in the mystery and find beauty in Arctic adventure, exploring with technology. On exhibit now, only at the Museum of Science. More at MOS.org. Hi, everybody, and welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. Back in January, teams from all over Massachusetts competed at our virtual Super Sunday qualifying event. 17 of those teams earned a spot in this year's tournament. And now we are down to the last two teams, and only one of them will be crowned High School Quiz Show champion. In today's match, direct from the comfort of their own homes, it's a rematch from last season's final. We have Belmont High School taking on defending champions Boston Latin School. And on the Belmont team, Tor, welcome to the championship round. How are you doing? Thank you. Uh, I'm doing pretty well. All right. Amargo, you feeling good? These are the finals. I'm feeling pretty excited. All right. How about you, Bennett? I'm pumped. I'm ready. Psyched and pumped. Nathan? I'm doing just fine. All right. Now, the alternates are Yona and Kirill and Coach Stacy Williams. And now the Boston Latin team. Ethan, congratulations to you for being here in the final match. It's not easy. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go? This is the big one. And Kyler, how about you? You feeling good about this? I'm feeling good. I'm hoping for a three-win streak. All right. We'll see. Lucas, how about you? Excited. Pumped. Ready to go. Ready to go. Alice? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling hyped. All right. Totally hyped. Uh, the alternates for Boston Latin are Luisa and Mira with coaches Andy Zhao and Teresa Kojong. <laughs> Now, the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. And we'll start with the toss-up round. All players on both teams are active, and with a correct answer, can each contribute 10 points per question to their team score. In this round, there are no point deductions for wrong answers. A green light indicates a correct answer, a red light an incorrect answer, and a gray light means no answer has been provided within the three seconds granted. So teams, congratulations again on being here in the finals. Let's go. In 2013, the U.S. Supreme Court gutted key parts of what legislation that outlawed racial discrimination in voting? Was it the 14th Amendment, the 19th Amendment, or the Voting Rights Act of 1965? The Voting Rights Act of 1965. What Christopher Nolan film begins with the protagonist asking himself, so where are you? And ends with him asking himself, now where was I? Is it Interstellar, Inception, or Memento? Memento is the answer. The sun is a hot ball of plasma made up mostly of what chemical element? Helium, hydrogen, or nitrogen? Hydrogen. Now take a look at your screens. Mikhail Gorbachev coined the term era of stagnation to describe the economic difficulties that began under what Soviet leader seen here with Gerald Ford? Nikita Khrushchev, Leonid Brezhnev, or Yuri Andropov? Leonid Brezhnev in West African and Caribbean folklore. Anansi is a trickster god who takes the shape of what animal? Spider, snake, or bird? 
Spider is the answer. And best known for his role as Captain Von Trapp in the film The Sound of Music, what Oscar-winning actor passed away in February of 2021 at age 91? Donald Sutherland, Christopher Plummer, or Anthony Hopkins? Christopher Plummer. What lead vocalist of My Chemical Romance is the creator of The Umbrella Academy, a comic book and TV series about a dysfunctional family of superheroes? Is it Gerard Way, Roberto Aguirre Sacasa, or Grant Morrison? Gerard Way. Take a look at your screens. Here comes your next question. I'm Kristen Bell, and here's my question. On The Good Place, my character, Eleanor, tries to become a good person by help from her soulmate, Chidi. She tells him, I was dropped into a cave and you were my flashlight. A reference to what philosopher known for his allegory of the cave? Is it Aristotle, Plato, or Socrates? Plato is the answer and we move on. What nucleotide base is present in RNA but not DNA? Is it uracil, thymine, or cytosine? Uracil is the answer. A native of Franklin, Massachusetts. What Biden campaign manager is the first woman to ever run a winning Democratic presidential campaign? Is it Dana Remus, Jen O'Malley Dillon, or Annie Tomasini? Jen O'Malley Dillon. Despite allegations of bribery and slave labor, what Persian Gulf country with sweltering summer temperatures won the bid to host the 2022 FIFA World Cup? Is it Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, or Qatar? Qatar is the answer. Take a look at your screens. Here comes your next question. Hi, I'm actor Bill Hader, and here's my question. I play the title character in Barry, a dark comedy series about a reluctant hitman. The show's bleakly comic tone is very inspired by the movie Fargo, an iconic 1996 film directed by which of the following? The Duffer Brothers, the Coen Brothers, or the Fairley Brothers? The Coen Brothers is the answer, and we move on. Made from the oak timbers of a British Arctic exploration ship, what famous desk that currently sits in the Oval Office was a gift from Queen Victoria to President Rutherford B. Hayes? Is it the Resolute Desk, the Discovery Desk, or the Endurance Desk? The Resolute Desk. Known for songs like Candyman, what legendary singer and tap dancer was the first black person invited to spend a night at the White House as a guest of President Nixon back in 1973? Was it Harry Belafonte, Nat King Cole, or Sammy Davis Jr.? Sammy Davis Jr. Shakespeare's Richard III opens with one of the most famous lines in literature. Now is the winter of our... Despair, disdain, or discontent? Discontent is the answer. Known as the mother... Oh, that's the bell that ends the toss-up round. The score right now, Belmont High School, 420 points. Boston Latin School, 380 points. This is the championship round, everybody. Give them some noise. Okay, the head-to-head -head round is next. First, we take a few minutes, spend a few minutes with the players. I've got a question each of you can answer. We'd like to get to know you a little better. Here we are. We're honoring the late, great Alex Trebek on this season of High School Quiz Show. What would a Jeopardy category about your life be titled, and why? We'll start with Belmont High School in you, Tor. Uh, uh, so my Jeopardy category would be titled uh, Tour de Force, uh, <laughs> mostly because we thought it was a fun play on words, but uh, also because I have a lot of very uh, varied um, and unrelated interests. And I like to try and be good at them. Yeah, the fun play on words was, I think you had us there, Tour. <laughs> uh, Margo, how about you? I also have a bit of a play on words. I would call my category Margo Polo, and it would be about <laughs> my adventures. I love it. Bennett, how about you? Yeah, I mean, mine is a, a bit simple. My name is Bennett Moore, so I feel like the category would have to be more Bennett. 
Boy, you guys have really given this some thought, haven't you? Nathan, how about you? I'd be Sheffield Steel. <laughs> All right, Boston Land, you've had a couple of minutes to think. Ethan, what would it be? I think I'd name my category March Madness since I love basketball. I was born in March and it was a category in our semis round this year. Okay, how about you, Kyler? I would name mine Dining Playbook because I like food, I like plays, and I like books. Bonus points there, Kyler. Bonus points there. Uh, Lucas, how about you? Uh, I would call my category Chaos Walking because it's the name of a book trilogy I really like and I like reading and I'm also very kind of chaotic and clumsy person. All right. Alice, you? I'm going to bring back little and I'm going to go with a classic potpourri because I have a lot of different interests and they're very dynamic. Okay. You know what's next. It's the head-to-head -head round. So let's do it. As a reminder, in this round, correct answers add 10 points to the team total. Incorrect answers result in a 10-point deduction. And if a player does not provide an answer, there is no impact on the score. Teams, if you're ready, let's go. What U.S. state is the site of Niagara Falls, New York or Michigan? New York. Tom Brokaw's book, The Greatest Generation, is about the generation of Americans who fought in what war? World War I or World War II? World War II. What American composer wrote the music for West Side Story? Was it Leonard Bernstein or Burt Bacharach? Leonard Bernstein. What color jersey is given to the overall winner of the Tour de France, yellow or red? Yellow is the answer. In 1897, English physicist J.J. Thompson discovered what subatomic particle, proton or electron? The electron. Who directed the final film in the Star Wars sequel trilogy, The Rise of Skywalker? Was it George Lucas or J.J. Abrams? J.J. Abrams. The Roman numeral D represents what number, 50 or 500? 500. In 2013, what star of Scandal became the first black actress to lead a network drama in nearly 40 years? Viola Davis or Kerry Washington? Kerry Washington is the answer there. And that's the bell that ends the round. The score right now, Belmont High School, 410 points. Boston Latin School, 400 points. 10 points. Boy, is this a championship match. Great job, teams. <laughs> Next up is the category round, which we are dedicating to former Jeopardy host Alex Trebek. He was a friend to High School Quiz Show and certainly an inspiration to all of us. In his honor, all category titles are inspired by Jeopardy. And here they are. Daily Double, Before and After, World Capitals, Pop Music, American Presidents, Who is Alex Trebek? Each category has five questions with increasing point values. Once a team selects a category, they will be asked all five questions. Right answers will add points. Wrong answers will deduct points from the team's total. A decision to not answer will not impact the team score. Once per category, the team can also choose to toss a question to the opposing team. A tossed question must be answered, and in this specific case, a no answer is the same as a wrong answer. Each team will complete two full categories. They can confer and will have 10 seconds to answer each question. We will need a spokesperson for each team. Belmont High, who's it going to be? Tor is up. Boston Latin, who's the spokesperson? Ethan is up. Now, since there was a tie at the end of the head-to-head -head round, control of the board was determined by a coin toss. So Belmont has control of the board, and Belmont, we will need a category. What do you guys think? American Capitals, presidents? For sure. World capitals. Are American yeah, presidents pre or world presidents. capitals? I think I presidents. Too, but are you guys better presidents. at presidents? Yeah, let's I do think presidents. so. What do you think, Tor? We need a category. Okay. Uh, American presidents, please. Okay. 
American presidents, questions about U.S. presidents for 10 points. Who won a Grammy Award for Best Spoken Word album for his audiobook, Dreams from My Father? Obama. Yep. Yeah. Uh, final answer, Obama. And Barack Obama is the correct answer. Now for 15 points. Who was the last U.S. president to lead a field army in battle during the War of 1812? Uh, what, was it Monroe? Or no, um, Madison, Madison, it was Madison. Madison, yeah. yes. It's uh, Madison, yeah. final answer. Final answer, James Madison, and that is correct. Now for 20 points, who was the president of the United States at the beginning of Reconstruction, the turbulent era following the Civil War? Uh, Johnson, 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 right? Johnson yeah. yeah. Final answer, Johnson. Need a first name. Andrew Johnson. And Andrew Johnson is correct now for 25 points. Born in New York to parents of Dutch descent, who is the only president to speak English as a second language? Martin Van Buren. Van Buren. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's yeah. Martin Van Buren. Yep. Final answer, Van Buren. And that is correct for 25 points. Now for 30 points, who was one of the very few presidents to have an engineering background serving as an engineering officer and an electronics repair officer on the U.S. Navy submarine SSK-1 in the 1950s? Oh, um, no, which no. it's later. He served during the 50s. I think it was H.W. Uh, Bush, right? George H.W. Bush. Uh, if you're confident, then go for it. Otherwise, pass for it. H.W. Uh, Bush. Final answer, Tor. Final answer, H.W. Bush. Jimmy Carter is uh, <sighs> the answer. Now we move over to Boston Latin School. What's the category going to be, team? Let's take World oh, Capitals. You guys go world with... Capitals. Yeah, Gio, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> We're going to go with World Capitals. World Capitals. Questions about World Capitals for 10 points. There isn't a single stop sign in what European capital known as the City of Lights? Paris. Paris. Amsterdam. Yeah, Paris. Amsterdam. No, Paris is, okay. is it? I yeah. think Paris is City of Lights. You Ethan, sure? answer, Ethan. Paris, final answer. Paris is the correct answer. Now for 15 points. Though it's commonly referred to as a city, what Indonesian capital is so large that it's officially considered a province? Jakarta. 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 Jakarta, yeah. Final answer, Jakarta. And that is correct now for 20 points. What capital city of Ecuador sits at an elevation of 9,350 feet? Quito. Quito. Yep. Okay. Final answer, Quito. Quito is correct now for 25 points to address climate change. In 2019, what Ethiopian capital city set a new world record by planting more than 350 million tree seedlings in 12 hours? Addis Ababa. Addis Ababa. Yeah. Ababa, right? Yes. Ababa. Final answer, Addis Ababa. And that is correct for 25 points. Now for 30 points, what city is known as the capital of Europe because it is the seat of the European Union? Brussels? Oh, Brussels. Yep. Brussels. Yep. Final answer, Brussels. Brussels is correct for 30 points. We go back to Belmont High School now. You'll need a category, Belmont. We could do pop music. Maybe Daily Double. Uh, oh. I, I got nothing for pop music, so. Okay, let's um, do Daily Double. Should we try Daily Double? Right. Yeah, let's try Daily, Daily uh, Double. Daily Double, please. Uh, Daily Double. All answers are two-word alliterative phrases. For example, Daily Double. For 10 points, according to a famous nursery rhyme first published in England in 1813, who picked a peck of pickled peppers? Peter Piper. Peter Piper. Peter Piper, yeah. Final answer, Peter Piper. And that is correct. Now for 15 points, Margot Robbie stars in what 2016 superhero film about a secret government agency that recruits imprisoned supervillains to save the world? Suicide, suicide Squad. Suicide Squad, yeah. Yeah, final answer is Suicide Squad. And that is correct. Now for 20 points, citing safety concerns. In 2015, Disney World joined a growing list of venues to ban what gadget that many consider the pinnacle of narcissism? Selfie, uh, stick. selfie stick, yeah. Uh, final answer, selfie stick. And that is correct. Now for 25 points. Named after a little girl from Texas, what child abduction emergency alert system originated in the United States in 1996? Amber, Amber, Amber alert. alert. Yeah, final answer, Amber Alert. And that is correct. Now for 30 points. Jazz greats, including Duke Ellington, Cab Calloway, and Ethel Waters, all performed at what famous nightclub on Lenox Avenue in Harlem that was open during Prohibition. The Cotton Club. Yep. Yes, it's the Cotton Club. Final answer, Cotton Club. And Cotton Club is right for 30 right, points. We go back to Boston Latin School. You will need a category team. Should we, uh, we take music? before and after? Or pop pop music. Music. You guys, or you guys sure after. you know pop music well enough for that? Um, <laughs> I 
Sorry, need an answer, just, Ethan? Uh, we're going to go with pop music. Okay. Pop music. Questions about popular music for 10 points. Written by Paul McCartney to cheer up Julian Lennon during his parents' divorce. What is the most successful Beatles song of all time with 19 weeks on the Billboard Hot 100 in 1968? Hey, Jude. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah, it is. It is. It is. Answer, hey, Jude. Final answer? Hey, Jude. And that is correct for 10 points. For 15 points, who's the only woman to have six albums top the Billboard 200 for four or more weeks most recently with 2020's Folklore? Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. <laughs> yeah. Final answer, Taylor Swift. And that is correct now for 20 points. Who had his first big crossover hit with 1983's Little Red Corvette with airplay on MTV at a time when it featured virtually no other black artists? Michael is it Prince? Jackson? No, Prince. Prince. Oh, it's Red, is it's Red Prince. Yeah. It's okay. Prince. Go for it. Final answer, Prince. And that's correct for 20 points. Now for 25 points. What English new wave band known for hits like Enjoy the Silence and Personal Jesus was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2020? Oh, I've heard of this. It's like Depeche Mode, I think. I want to... Depeche Mode? Depeche yeah. Mode. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. Final answer, Depeche Mode. And Depeche Mode is correct now for 30 points. In 1979, what disco queen from Boston had three of the year's top 12 songs with Bad Girls, Hot Stuff, and MacArthur Park? Oh, MacArthur. Oh, God. I've heard of this. It's not Lisa Minnelli, right? She wasn't from Boston. No. Disco queen. Okay. Should we bounce? Should Need we just, an answer. Should we skip this? Um, pass. We're going, we're going to pass. You're going to pass? The answer... Donna Summer. And uh, that's the bell ending the category round. The score right now, Belmont High School, 550 points. Boston Latin School, 580 points. What a match. How about it, everybody? OK, we are heading into the final round of play. It's the lightning round. All players on both teams are active and with a correct answer can add 20 points to their team's total. An incorrect answer will cost 20 points. And a decision not to answer within the three seconds provided will not impact the score. There will be 10 questions and teams if you're ready, so am I. Good luck. Here we go. King Henry VIII of England divorced how many wives? Two or three? Two. The White Mountains cover about a quarter of what New England state? New Hampshire or Vermont? New Hampshire. What photoreceptors in the retina distinguish light but not color? Cones or rods? Rods, about 80% of what European capital was destroyed in the Great Fire of 1666. Was it London or Paris? London. In 1959, what famous American trumpeter released the seminal jazz album Kind of Blue? Was it Dizzy Gillespie or Miles Davis? Miles Davis. What infamous English pirate was the by name of Edward Teach? Was it Bluebeard or Blackbeard? Blackbeard. On January 20th, 2021, Kamala Harris was sworn in as vice president by which Supreme Court justice? Sonia Sotomayor or Elena Kagan? Sonia Sotomayor. What does a light year measure? Time or distance? Distance. Olympic sprinter Usain Bolt is from what country? Barbados or Jamaica? Jamaica. In what 1980s film does Patrick Swayze say nobody puts baby in a corner? Is it 16 Candles or Dirty Dancing? Dirty Dancing is the answer to that question. And that is the end of the round. Belmont High School is the winner, the champion. Oh my, with 1,070 points, Boston Latin School the runner-up with a total score of 1,060 points. Congratulations to both teams for a fabulous game and a fabulous championship round. This was a terrific season with several outstanding teams, but in the end, there can only be one 
champion. So congratulations to Belmont High School for becoming the new high school quiz show champions. And by the way, a very special thanks to the teams and to the coaches and of course to all of you for joining us for this exciting season. We will see you next year for season 13 of High School Quiz Show. How about it, everybody? Great job, teams. Great job. You can watch High School Quiz Show anytime on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram for a look behind the scenes and quizzes that'll keep you thinking. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more photos and video. And add some competition to your conversations by sending your friends High School Quiz Show gifts. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. People take a lot of selfies, even after a fender bender. With Safety's Quick Estimate program, you can use the self-service process to get an appraisal, helping your car to be repaired. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Additional funding is provided by Eastern Bank. When our communities need a voice, Eastern Bank steps up stands strong and does not stay silent. When times get tough, good speaks up. Join us for good. This is what it sounds like.